Talking to the mayor of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti, we have a few other questions and issues, but before we get sure. uh, past that, uh, Joel Grover on our investigative unit, yep. uh, he was investigating a huge uh, pile of trash. I mean, it was uh, in the fashion district of Los Angeles. The people there said they had been complaining to the city for months, weeks, months about it. Uh, he called you. You were in Hawaii, not on vacation. You were there for a mayor's conference. You were working. And then it all of a sudden gets cleaned up. Sure. The, it leads to the assumption that the city only responds to shame from from people like us not at all I'd appreciate Joel's reporting very much and I said whenever you have addresses don't wait till it's the news day give us those and we'll do them whether it comes from Joel Grover or somebody else we looked into that we had gotten complaints we did clean it last year uh, sorry this year we had uh, complaints in the past year and you know what we found out when we went in there and I want to thank our sanitation workers who went in there they worked all night long this is a private piece of property by the way and some of that was spilling out into the alleyway we cleaned that entire place out we found there that there was stuff from the neighboring businesses that had been dumped there. We had folks who had evidence of businesses giving that to homeless individuals to just dump it there instead of fulfilling the law, which is that every business needs to have a trash hauler. So a lot of people think that this is something that's just coming out of homelessness. Eighty percent of all of the trash that we pick up from illegal dumping comes from businesses that are illegally dumping, and we are going to go after them. They are essentially riding on the rest of our, our backs. And anybody who has it, we just launched actually this week, 50% um, more proactive teams, every single council district, um, some citywide ones, and leading with services that will go into whether it's a homeless encampment or a business area. I'm very passionate about this. You know this. I ran on Back to Basics. We were able in the first few years to bring down uh, the amount of trash on the streets, and we are collecting a record amount. But I want to see those times come down from eight or nine days uh, to two or three. And I think that we can deliver that this fiscal year. We have three minutes left, a couple sure. of other items. You're on the Metro Board, used to be chair, you'll be chair again. Bus ridership dramatically down over the past several years, 25%. Sure. Uh, w what needs to be done in order for you to get more people to take sure. public transportation? Bus ridership's down around the country. Part of that is increased traffic in cities. Part of that is that gas was cheaper. Part of that is a stronger economy, and people make that choice. Um, I have asked for a system-wide uh, re-examination of our bus system to look at the number and frequency of buses, the lines. We haven't done that in decades. Houston recently did this and had great results, was able to improve their bus system and improve uh, their ridership. If we look at the rapid bus experiments that we've had, like the Orange Line here, which is the most successful rapid bus line in the country, I want to see more of those with the uh, Measure M dollars that we've passed. For instance, on Vermont and other places, we need those now. They're cheaper. We can get them faster. And the last thing is the city of L.A. also runs buses. I just announced that we're making that free for LAUSD students and community college students. I think we need a new generation. I used to ride the bus every day uh, when I was a student uh, on our was then RTD buses, now our Metro buses. So I'm going to push for that at Metro as well, because today's student who's riding the bus for free means tomorrow's customer. So incre increase the uh, number of buses, increase the quality of the buses, and do all-door boarding, which can cut the time down while we have dedicated bus lanes throughout the city. Why did the parcel tax fail for LAUSD? People don't trust the district. I think overwhelmingly that's what happened. And look, I will answer that call always. We have, unfortunately, our schools have become where we warehouse our trauma and poverty. 81% uh, of our students are poverty, are in poverty. 91% of them are African American, Latino. Uh, years after Brown versus Board of Education, while we have legally desegregated, we have de facto resegregated our schools. And so I'm committed to building a new coalition that came out of the end of the teacher strike. And while it was clear with the parcel tax that the district has a long way to go to earn the trust of all sorts of folks, um, that's another you know, fire I could run away from, but I don't think L.A. will ever be successful if we don't have great schools. IBEW Local 18, uh, the Department of Water and Power, says your Green New Deal is certainly not specific enough, but what they have seen is going to lead to a, a, a problem with reliability, uh, affordability. IBEW says you could lose 1,800 union jobs. Look at the, the fires that are around us. Uh, look at the hot days that are around us. This is the fight of our lives. If we literally don't confront climate change, we will not have civilization. There's a recent study that came out as early as 2050, we could have a billion climate refugees. In the last few years, while we have moved, uh, doubled the amount of renewable energy, and it stayed reliable, we have also increased the number of jobs in this town that are green jobs by 35,000. That's more than all the coal jobs lost in America. So I look forward to sitting down with folks to guarantee, first of all, our, our DWP workers have uh, civil service. Nobody's losing any jobs. But they will transition to clean energy jobs ways that will save our city, save our planet, and save our economy simultaneously. Do you regret not running for president? 
not at all. My heart is here. And, you know, I know these are tough moments and you've asked good and tough questions, but I love this city. I love my family. I want to look back, not worrying about the headlines of today or the criticisms of tomorrow. I want to look back and know 10 years from now, we did the right thing on homelessness, on the environment. Life is long. I love watching what's happening out when there. When are you going to endorse? Uh, I don't know. Probably sometime this year. But I, like many, I'm listening and learning. And I have many close friends that are in this race, but I'm looking forward to finding the best who can open a new direction in a new way in this country. The Honorable Eric Garcetti, 42nd Mayor, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you, I buddy. appreciate it. We'll have some final comments after this.